Milk. We all need it from the day we are born, and we need to make sure it is of the best quality. Young get their milk by suckling. We can get our milk from cows in two ways. First, by machine milking, which is expensive and usually used by big dairy farmers. And secondly, by hand milking, a cheap method used by most small dairy farmers. Now let's visit Mwandoro's farm in Kilifi district and see how he does his milking. What are the steps he takes and how could he do them better to get the best quality milk? First, he prepares and gets everything ready. Is this the way to make sure everything is clean before milking? Now he is ready to start the hand milking. Let's watch this closely. The cow has finished her feed. Is this a good thing? Some of the milk is fed to the cow. Some is sold to his neighbors or taken to the dairy to earn some cash. If the milk is not clean, or if it is watered down, then the dairy will not buy the milk. 
wewe mazao yako yalikuwa machache sana ni kwa sababu hukufuata mafundisho ya walimu wa ufugaji kwa hivyo pesa zako zitakuwa kidogo let us now discuss mwandoro's milking which steps went well and where do we think he could do better So let us go through Mwandoro's steps on milking once again. Where the cows are kept is not clean. That is why the cow and udder is so dirty. He is not using the right buckets. These are hard to keep clean. He does not wash his hands properly and he doesn't dry them. Dirty, wet hands carry germs. When he is hand milking, he does not use both hands. He pulls the teeth instead of squeezing it, and he does not start with the front quarter. All these practices can damage the udder and cause mastitis. No records are kept of the milk taken. He will find it hard to keep his cow producing the most milk. He uses the cup both for milking and feeding the cow. The milk is transported in a dirty container. All these poor practices can result in less milk, the chance of having mastitis, and the milk being rejected. Through proper hand milking, we can increase milk yield and the milk quality. We can also reduce the loss of udder through mastitis and our veterinary expenses. We are still in Kilifi district, this time visiting Naomi. Let us look at how she milks. The milk shed should be comfortable and clean. This helps to keep the cow and udder clean. Milk in a quiet surrounding, try and have the same person milking the cow. This allows the cow to relax and let down her milk easily. Everything should be done to make sure milking equipment is clean. Prepare well before milking and use warm water for cleaning. If all the equipment is ready before milking, it becomes easier and quicker. This is important as cows let their milk down between 7 to 10 minutes so we can't waste any time. When restraining the cow, do not forget to tie the tail. Now we come to the important part, the hand milking. Squeeze out the first milk from each teat and check this for any signs of mastitis. 
Naomi's cow is okay. But if she saw this, she would have to milk this quarter last and not mix with the good milk. Where does she start? With the front teeth. the teeth between thumb and fingers. She does not pull or strip the teeth. This means the udder is not damaged in any way. She removes all the milk quickly and evenly using both hands. Naomi wants to keep a check on how much milk her cow gives every day, so she keeps a record. At this stage, Naomi wishes to keep her milk as clean as possible and uses a clean cloth to filter the milk. Carefully washes all the material she has used with water and soap. Everything is rinsed and dried in the sun. When her milk is tested at the dairy, it is of good quality and she gets a good price. So, good hand milking means a healthy cow, more money and more milk for the family. So what steps are you going to take to improve your milking.